Well, maybe you're not sure what to give those on your Christmas list. Maybe a candle some that you people, made. Yeah, some people think <laughs> it's the perfect gift. And Rhonda Moore is showing us how you can make a candle this morning. Good morning. Hundreds of people come out here to Allwood to make candles, and Nina Lapiton is one of the naturalists out here, and she's going to show me this morning how to make candles. And uh, tell me, we start with this. That's right. And so and this goes, is what? This is 100% beeswax, all right. and it gets put in this melting pot to turn into liquid, all right. and then all that liquid is moved over. And from there we go to the dipping tank. Everything's liquid in here as you can see. Mm -hmm. And you're going to take one of these pre-made tapers that's 100% okay. beeswax. You're going to grab it by the tip and okay. you're going to dip it in really And it's pre-made just because it would take too long to show on TV how to make this exactly. part, correct? Exactly. All right, so dip this in. And then bring it up. Now, and is this is nice and hot or? It is. It's like a manicure wax okay. there. Okay, so okay. I don't want to put my hand in here. Though. No, you don't. Okay. And then you're going to want to let it cool for a minute and you can go ahead and dip it again. Okay, so you take it out for about a minute? Um, a little bit longer than okay. that. We let it cool, otherwise it'll um, melt off. If you're doing this uh, dipping a couple of times is because you're making it like fatter, the candle a little fatter, right? That's right, so okay. it'll fit in the candle holder like okay. this. All right, and you know, hundreds of people come out here every year to do this, and you have people of all ages coming out here to candle dip, correct? Right, little kids to um, older adults, and in between the dippings, they learn about um, bees and their lives and uh, renewable and non renewable energy sources. It's a great holiday gift for teachers or grandparents or um, or even for yourself. Members. Or for yourself, <laughs> that's right. All right, well, this is a lot of fun, and we're going to continue to um, candle dip for the next hour. But for now, I want to let people know you can come out here to Allwood Farm and candle dip on Saturday and Sunday at 2.30 p.m. It's located on Frederick Pike in Butler Township, and I'll be continuing to candle dip, and we'll see uh, what I end up with and what I make in the next hour. Back to you guys. All right, I like that. A Beeswax. nice present that you make yourself means a lot. That's very nice. And you know what? Well, 12 days till Christmas. Oh my gosh, we're blowing everyone's over, mind Megan. this morning. <laughs> Time running out if you want to make your own candles. Yeah, and for a lot of people, it's a chance to make a little homemade gift for Christmas. And Rhonda Moore is learning how to make those candles this morning. Good morning. Yes, we've been making candles all morning out here at Allwood. I'm joined by Nina Lapiton, and she's a naturalist out here. So this is uh, the one that I made last hour. Very nice. So that came out pretty good. And now we're going to make multiple candles at once, right? That's right, because I know you love candles, I do. Rhonda. <laughs> so um, for people especially who are interested in making lots of candles in one sitting, we have this special ring, and I'm going to have you hold, grab this at the top. Okay. And um, just slowly lower it down into this hot wax. We're going to try not to dip the plastic thing in there, but oh, okay. you know, do your best. Okay. Oh, so, excellent job. Now all right. Bring it up and... Oh, pretty blue. Yeah. All right, so we're making blue this hour we're instead of red. this hour, that's right. Now, how long does this process actually take? The whole program is about an hour long on the weekends. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we also do talk about bees in their lives, renewable energy. We've got uh, um, big chunks of coal over there for... For those kids that want to know um, if they've been bad and they get coal in their stocking, that's what it looks like. But <laughs> well, you're talking about kids, but this is also something for everyone of all ages, not that's just right. kids, that's correct? That's right. Adults love it. And, you know, when they come out here after they're done making the candles, they can visit and enjoy the farm facilities and see the live animals. They can go out in the lobby and milk the cow. <laughs> all right. So now this candle, we've taken it out. You let it stay out for about a minute and then dip it again, right? That's right. How many times total are we going to dip it? Well, on average, I would say it's five to six Oops. times. So five or six it. times, and that's so that the candle can be fatter, correct? Right, and you get a, you get a nice um, thick candle so that it'll fit in the uh, candle holder. We test that. All right, and these make great Christmas gifts for people in case uh, someone hasn't decided what they want to get for someone. They can always come out here and make candles and give them away as gifts. And you can come out to Allwood Farm and candle dip on Saturday and Sunday at 2.30 p.m. It's located on Frederick Pike in Butler Township. Nina, thank you. And back to you guys. All right, Rhonda, looks pretty cool. That's and a nice candles, gift. I know, and a nice color blue. All right. She has a new pastime, it seems. Candle Good job, making. Rhonda. Candle making.